Is it is the access for social inclusion training? Hello, everybody. In the next 10 minutes, I will talk about the role of easy to understand language in live subtitling. In particular, I will talk of a very specific case of live subtitling, which is live subtitling during an institutional meeting. To do so, I have divided this presentation into four sections. The function of live subtitling, the process of live subtitling, the product of live subtitling, and finally, an overview of some preliminary data. Before entering into detail, allow me to briefly introduce live subtitling. Live subtitling is the translation of spoken text into its written form. It happens in real time and can be applied to many situations. Here is an example of TV live subtitling taken from CNN News. Now add one more to the list, Gallaudet. This weekend, a scene from 20 years ago reoccurred, and students vow they will be heard. Here's CNN's Gary Nuremberg. 133 demonstrators were arrested Friday night as they blocked an entrance to Gallaudet University, the country's most prominent school for the deaf. Section 1, The Function. Intesteno is the International Federation for Information and Communication Processing. Its main decisional body is the Council, composed of delegates from 25 countries from all corners of the planet. Though the official language is English and it is more or less spoken and understood by everybody, there are delegates who find it hard to understand what is said. In normal conditions, this problem has been solved in different ways, mainly with in-presence interlingual live subtitling or conference interpreting. With COVID and the possibility of connection flaws, the board decided to opt for live subtitling to let the council members gather online to conveniently communicate among them. Section 2. The process. As said, Several solutions have been tested in the past to solve communication problems among Council delegates in particular. For the needs of the current situation, they have been reconsidered. Simultaneous interpreting is too expensive and not easy to put in practice, despite the possibility to use breakout rooms in Zoom. Then consecutive interpreting has been considered, but it has already been considered as too slow in the past, so this solution was also rejected. That is why live subtitling was adopted. However, verbatim live subtitling had already proved a solution that poorly meets the needs of intestinal delegates, most of whom are non-native speakers. That is why the Intestinal Scientific Committee has developed guidelines for the production of sensatim live subtitles, or easy to understand, focusing on meaning and readability more than on identity of form between the speech and the subtitles. In normal conditions, live subtitlers would use live subtitling reproducing every single idea unit in the speech by means of plain language and using the block subtitles mode left aligned, which allows for better readability because a complete sentence is shown at a time. The subject verb object word order allowed then to send the subtitles to Google Translate and get quite acceptable automatic translations, as in the video related to another conference that I am going to show you in a second.
In the case of remote live subtitling, things change a little bit. If it is possible to keep both the editing mode and the view mode, the problem is with the casting mode. Indeed, the Council has used Zoom to meet, and subtitles have been produced thanks to the dedicated closed captioning function, which allows for human production of subtitles, but only into one language. The technique used to do these intralingual live subtitles was re-speaking. For those of you who do not know what re-speaking is, let me briefly say that it is the production of live subtitles by means of a re-speaker who orally repeats or reformulates a speech in real time and dictates it to an automatic speech recognition software, which turns the spoken utterances of the re-speaker into written text, as in this video related to live subtitling at, the, at BBC uh, almost 20 years ago. is expected to ground flights, comma, shut down schools. This is the seventh general strike that Greece has had in the past year, and it has been 12 months of austerity. Section 3, the product. The final result looked like this screenshot taken by the speaker, me. As you can see, the intestinal secretary speaks while sharing his slides on the left-hand side of the screen, and on the right-hand side of the screen, a view of some of the council members, and below, block subtitles translating into written words what he says. Concerning subtitles into other languages, a brand new technological solution has been developed. It is called Text on Tap, and allows for a similar experience as in the case of in-presence live subtitling. Here is a video of a second screen showing some of the possible translations among which it was possible to choose. Section 4. Preliminary data. Here are some preliminary data which show that the source text was highly reduced because a little more than 6,000 words were used to subtitle more than 10,000 words, meaning a reduction of almost 40%. Consequently, the viewer's reading speed has been reduced to 84 words per minute without mining the understanding of the original text. Indeed, 97.3% of all ideas have been maintained in the subtitles, though automatic translations were a little less accurate, with an accuracy rate of around 92%. The delay was either very short, when not proficient but understandable non-native speakers spoke, or quite long when native or proficient or less understandable speakers spoke. The average was around four seconds. For further information and for any question you may have about this presentation, don't hesitate and ask. I will be happy to try and provide you with as much information as I can. For future contacts, please reach me at c.eugenie at Leeds dot ac dot uk i thank you so much for your attention the project is it has received funding from the european commission under the erasmus plus strategic partnerships for higher education program grant agreement 20181 eso1 ka203 05275 
The European Commission's support for the production of this publication does not constitute an endorsement of the contents which reflect the views only of the authors, and the Commission cannot be held responsible for any use which may be made of the information contained therein. This work is licensed under a Creative Commons attribution, Share Alike 4.0 International License. Partners of the EZIT project Universitat Autonoma de Barcelona Universitat de Studi di Trieste Universidade de Vigo, Stiftung Universität Hildesheim, SDI München, Dyslexie Verbundet, Radio Televisia Slovenia, Zavod Risa. Is it? Easy access for social inclusion training.